For centuries, the Moors have been shrouded in mystery and myth, a powerful people whose influence shaped the culture, architecture, and history of medieval Spain and beyond. Often depicted simply as North African invaders, the true story of the Moors is far richer and far more complex. Thanks to groundbreaking advances in genetic research, scientists are now peeling back the layers of history to uncover the surprising origins hidden within Moorish DNA. These new studies reveal that the Moors were not a single uniform group, but rather a mosaic of diverse peoples whose roots spread across North Africa, the Middle East, Europe, and even Sub-Saharan Africa. This genetic diversity reflects centuries of migration, conquest, trade, and cultural exchange, painting a vivid picture of a people shaped by movement and mingling, not isolation. The Moorish legacy, most famously associated with the stunning cities of Cordoba and Granada, is woven from threads of Berber, Arab, Iberian, and African ancestry. These discoveries challenge long-held assumptions and stereotypes about who the Moors really were, emphasizing that their identity was dynamic and multi-layered. By exploring the surprising genetic origins of the Moors, we gain fresh insight into a pivotal chapter of Mediterranean history, one that shaped not only Spain, but the entire region's cultural and genetic landscape. Join us as we dive into this fascinating genetic journey, uncovering the real story behind the Moors and what their DNA reveals about the interconnectedness of peoples across continents and centuries. The Moors were a diverse group of people who played a crucial role in shaping the history and culture of medieval Spain and the wider Mediterranean region. But who exactly were they? The term Moors historically referred to Muslim inhabitants of North Africa and the Iberian Peninsula, especially during the Middle Ages when they ruled much of Spain and Portugal from the early 8th century until the late 15th century. However, the reality of Moorish identity is far more complex than just a simple label. Originally, many Moors were Berbers, indigenous peoples in North Africa, with a rich history stretching back thousands of years. The Berbers embraced Islam after the Arab conquest in the 7th century and formed the backbone of the armies that crossed into Iberia in 711 CE. Alongside the Berbers were Arabs who brought their own culture, language, and religion from the Arabian Peninsula. Over time, the Moors became a blend of these North African Berber and Arab groups, as well as local Iberian populations who converted to Islam. The Moorish kingdoms in Spain, most famously the Emir of Cordoba and later the Nasrid Kingdom of Granada, became centers of learning, culture, and architectural brilliance. They introduced advanced agricultural techniques, mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and philosophy to Europe, sparking a cultural renaissance that influenced the continent for centuries. It's important to understand that the Moors were not a homogenous group, their identity included various ethnicities and cultural influences due to centuries of migration, intermarriage, and trade. Additionally, their presence extended beyond Spain. Moors also settled in parts of Sicily, Malta, and even the Canary Islands. Today, the term Moor serves as a historical label encompassing a broad and diverse group united by religion and culture, rather than ethnicity alone. Recent genetic studies are now shedding light on the surprising mixture of ancestries that formed the Moorish people, revealing a rich tapestry of heritage far beyond the traditional narrative. The Moors' origins are deeply rooted in the rich and diverse cultures of North Africa, primarily among the Berber and Arab peoples. Understanding these roots helps us appreciate the complex heritage that shaped Moorish identity. The Berbers are the indigenous people of North Africa, with a history that dates back thousands of years before the Arab conquests. They inhabited vast regions stretching from present-day Morocco and Algeria to Tunisia and Libya. The Berber culture is known for its unique languages, traditions, and social structures, which survived centuries of external influence. When Islam spread across North Africa in the 7th century, many Berber tribes embraced a new faith, which became a significant unifying factor in the region. Around the same time, Arab armies from the Arabian Peninsula began their rapid expansion westward, bringing Islam, Arabic language, and new political systems. The Arab conquest in North Africa led to a blending of cultures, as Arab settlers and Berber populations intermingled through trade, marriage, and shared religious practices. This fusion created a dynamic and diverse society. The Berbers contributed their resilience, knowledge of the harsh desert and mountain environments, and distinct cultural practices, while the Arabs brought Islamic scholarship, governance, and language that would become dominant in the region. 
When the Moors crossed into the Iberian Peninsula in 711 CE, it was largely Berber soldiers under Arab leadership who formed the initial conquering force. Over time, these groups mixed further with local Iberian converts, creating a multicultural society known for its tolerance and cultural achievements. Recent genetic studies confirm this intricate heritage, showing how Berber and Arab ancestries intertwine within modern descendants of the Moors. This blending of North African roots is key to understanding the lasting legacy of the Moors in history and culture. The Roman Empire's long presence in the Iberian Peninsula left a profound genetic and cultural imprint on the people who would later be known as the Moors. Before the Moorish invasion, the region was home to a mosaic of indigenous Iberian tribes, along with the influence of Roman settlers and soldiers who had controlled the area for centuries. Roman rule, lasting from the 2nd century BCE to the early 5th century CE, brought large-scale migration and settlement of Roman citizens, soldiers, and administrators to Iberia. Latin became the dominant language in Roman law, infrastructure, and custom spread throughout the region. This era facilitated genetic mixing between local Iberians and people from across the empire, including Italy and other Mediterranean areas. As the Western Roman Empire declined, the Visigoths, a Germanic people, took control but maintained many Roman customs and left their own genetic legacy. Despite these changes, the population remained largely a blend of native Iberian and Mediterranean ancestries shaped during Roman times. When the Moors arrived in the early 8th century, they encountered this already diverse population. Genetic studies reveal that modern descendants of the Moors carry markers not only from North African Berber and Arab ancestors, but also from these earlier Iberian and Roman inhabitants. This mix reflects centuries of intermarriage and cultural blending. Understanding the Roman and Iberian genetic layers helps us see the Moors not just as invaders, but as part of a continuous historical and biological tapestry, one woven from native European roots intertwined with North African and Mediterranean influences. This rich heritage contributed to the cultural flowering of Alan Dallas during Moorish rule. The genetic story of the Moors in the broader Iberian Peninsula is incomplete without acknowledging the significant sub-Saharan African influence. Though often overlooked, genetic studies reveal that people from sub-Saharan Africa contributed to the complex ancestry of the region, especially during the centuries of Moorish rule in Al-Andalus. Sub-Saharan Africans arrived in Iberia through multiple routes and historical processes. Some came as part of the trans-Saharan trade networks that connected West Africa to North Africa long before the Moorish invasion. Others arrived during the Islamic period, when Al-Andalus became a vibrant, multicultural society welcoming scholars, traders, and artisans from across Africa. Genetic markers typical of sub-Saharan populations have been found in modern Iberians, especially in southern Spain and Portugal. These markers suggest gene flow occurred through both migration and intermarriage. The Moors themselves were not a homogenous group. Many included people of Berber descent who had mixed with sub-Saharan Africans in North Africa before crossing into Europe. Furthermore, the cultural and genetic exchange continued during the centuries of Moorish control from the 8th to the 15th centuries. African influences permeated many aspects of life, music, art, cuisine, and language, reflecting a diverse society where ethnic boundaries were fluid. Even after the Reconquista, sub-Saharan African genetic contributions persisted, often blending further with the local populations. These layers of ancestry highlight the Iberian Peninsula as a true crossroads of continents, peoples, and cultures. Recognizing the sub-Saharan African genetic legacy enriches our understanding of the Moors and reminds us how interconnected human history is. Far from isolated invaders, the Moors represent a fusion of African, European, and Mediterranean heritages that shaped the identity of the region for centuries. The medieval period in the Iberian Peninsula was a unique time of cultural and genetic mixing, where Jews, Christians, and Moors lived in close proximity, influencing each other in profound ways. This era of conviventia, coexistence, created a vibrant mosaic of identities, reflected not only in culture, but also in the genetic makeup of the population. The Moors, primarily of Berber and Arab descent, ruled much of Iberia for centuries, but their society was far from homogenous. Jewish and Christian communities often lived under Moorish rule, 
participating in trade, scholarship, and daily life. This close contact led to intermarriage and genetic blending, which left lasting marks on the gene pool of the region. Jews, many of whom had lived in Iberia since Roman times, contributed their own unique genetic heritage, which included Middle Eastern and Mediterranean components. Christians, especially in the northern kingdoms, had different genetic backgrounds, but increasingly mixed with Moorish and Jewish populations through trade and shifting borders. This dynamic interplay of peoples was not always peaceful, but it shaped Iberia's diversity. Genetic studies today reveal traces of this medieval mixing, with people in modern Spain and Portugal carrying genes from all three groups. These interwoven ancestries highlight how identity in medieval Iberia was fluid and multifaceted. The Moors were not isolated conquerors, but part of a larger network of cultural and genetic exchange that helped define the region's complex history. Understanding this medieval blending deepens our appreciation of Iberia's rich heritage and the surprising genetic roots of its people. Recent advances in genetic research have shed new light on the complex ancestry of the Moorish people and the broader populations of the Iberian Peninsula. Modern DNA studies use cutting-edge techniques to analyze the genetic markers passed down through generations, revealing surprising layers of ancestry that challenge older historical assumptions. Genetic testing shows that many people in Spain and Portugal carry traces of North African Berber and Arab heritage, confirming the lasting impact of Moorish rule from the 8th to the 15th centuries. But the genetic picture is more intricate than a simple Moorish versus European divide. Studies reveal a blend of Mediterranean, Sub-Saharan African, and even European hunter-gatherer ancestries all woven together over millennia. One unexpected finding is the presence of Sub-Saharan African genetic markers in populations far beyond southern Spain, suggesting historic migrations and interactions that go back thousands of years. This challenges the notion that African influence was limited only to the Moorish period. Moreover, DNA evidence points to the integration of Jewish and Christian lineages with Moorish genes, reflecting centuries of coexistence and intermarriage during the medieval period. This creates a rich genetic tapestry, illustrating that identities were fluid and interconnected. These modern genetic studies not only confirm historical records, but also reveal hidden stories in our DNA. Stories of migration, conquest, trade, and cultural exchange. For many people in Iberia today, their genetic heritage is a testament to the diverse peoples who shape their land and history. Understanding these surprising genetic findings encourages a more nuanced view of identity, one that embraces complexity and shared roots across cultures. The rich and complex genetic heritage revealed by modern studies offers fresh insights into what it means to be Moorish or to carry Moorish ancestry today. The Moors were not a single, uniform group, but a diverse blend of Berbers, Arabs, Sub-Saharan Africans, and Iberian peoples, whose legacies continue to resonate across the Iberian Peninsula and beyond. For many descendants, this genetic mosaic is a source of pride, connecting them to a history of cultural richness, intellectual achievement, and resilience. The Moorish period in Iberia was marked by remarkable advancements in science, art, architecture, and philosophy, and today's genetic discoveries reinforce how deeply intertwined these diverse communities were. Recognizing this mixed ancestry challenges simplistic or exclusionary ideas about identity. It highlights how cultures have always been interconnected and how borders, whether physical or cultural, have been more fluid than often believed. In contemporary Spain, Portugal, and North Africa, there's a growing interest in rediscovering Moorish heritage not only in historical sites or cultural festivals, but also through personal exploration of family roots and DNA. This renewed awareness fosters dialogue about inclusion, diversity, and shared history. Moreover, understanding the Moorish genetic legacy helps combat stereotypes and prejudice, reminding us that identities are layered and that cultural contributions come from many sources. Ultimately, the Moorish genetic story invites us to embrace complexity and appreciate the rich tapestry of human history. It's a reminder that identity is not fixed, but a living, evolving blend shaped by centuries of connection, migration, and change.